What you're about to see has never been done. Ten Aussie couples chasing their dreams are about to become instant millionaires. The most nail-biting tension. I feel sick. To the most exhilarating highs. This could be the beginning of a whole new life. The question is, how long can they hold on to a mountain of cash? Oh, baby, please. For the next heart-stopping hour, come on their amazing journey. <sighs> the Million Dollar Drop starts right now. Welcome to the Million Dollar Drop. This is the only show where one million dollars is handed over to our contestants the moment they walk onto this very stage, everyone. And here it is. Look at this beautiful one million dollars in cold hard cash. Magnificent. All right. We've got armed security, left, right and centre, ladies and gentlemen, as you can imagine, all around us here in the studio. Please, though, welcome our first guests tonight, Brian Van Horn and Frankie Lloyd. Hi, Frankie. No. Welcome aboard. Good on you, Ryan. Welcome, guys. Yes. Go on, touch it. Get up. Go on, touch it. Go on, touch it. Tolga, put the gun back in your pocket just a moment. Now put it down, guys. There you go. Hey, do you think we're mucking around here? Tolga and George are fair dinkum, and they are packing heat. Come over here, Tolga. I, I know we can't, we can't pull the gun out, but that is a sizable weapon you're carrying there, mate. Have a look at that. Look at that one. Keep going, mate. Good boy. Get back over there. OK, guys, we'll get to know you as the show goes on, but you know what you're looking at here? One million dollars. Now, you can touch it, you can smell it, you can see it. The main thing we want to know tonight is can you keep it? In order to do so, we're going to have to give me the correct answer to eight multiple choice questions as we go. Now, here's how the game works. Each of these four drops, there will be a possible answer to a question. So multiple choice question, basically. We'll give you four alternate answers, we'll give you the question, and then you load up the money and see how you go. You've got to risk all the money on every single question. If you're not sure of the correct answer, you can play it safe. You can hedge your bets. You can put it on any of the three drops there, but one drop must remain empty on every question. So put your money on the wrong answer, guess what? Bang! The money is gone. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Now listen. Wherever the money is after eight questions, whatever is left, you take that home tonight. A little bit of a heads up, it takes a fair while to shovel one million dollars into the drop zone. Okay, guys, you ready to go? Ready to go. Okay, let's play Million Dollar Drop! Ryan and Frankie, let's go. As you see up there, we have one million dollars. It's in cold, hard cash. Eight questions. It starts, as always, at question one. Let's have a look at the categories. Here we go. We have letters and cocktails. Anything, Ben? We don't know anything about cocktails. No, never. Letters? Letters. Uh, letters, please, Ben. We're going to go letters? Yeah. Letters. No cocktails? I don't drink Frank, he's a non-drinker. I don't so that, drink. You haven't been watching Sex in the City for the yeah. last 10 years? Well, Our knowledge base is halved straight yes. away. All right. Yeah. Well, a man and woman of letters. Letters it is. Okay, stay there. I'm going to show you the four answers. Here they are. First answer is... S. Uh -oh. P. Mm -hmm. R. Mm -hmm. Q. Here comes the question. Okay. Have a good look at it. Read the question properly. What is the 18th letter of our alphabet? 18th. What is the 18th letter of our alphabet? There are. Yep. There are. Yep, you there go are. again. You check. Yep. You check. This is your department. Yep. 100%. Let's do it. Move. A L M N O. 
up guys because we're going to get into this straight away the question is what is the 18th letter of the alphabet here comes the drop one to get going there. Yes. They work the minute beautifully. Yep. As we can see, the boys here are shoveling out the money. So there's a fair bit there and you want to keep it as long as you possibly yes. can do it, okay? Yep. Tell us a bit about yourself, Frankie. You're a wedding planner. I am a wedding planner. What, have you had a, a, any strange requests for a wedding? Strange requests? Probably not really. It's just dealing with bridezillas yeah. on a daily basis. <laughs> they tell me that your lucky number's 13. My lucky number is 13. I have it tattooed on my wrist. And uh, you've got a treble clef. Because yeah. I'm a singer. So 13 was my dad's lucky number. It's our whole family's lucky number. So, so lucky 13 in lucky that case. Lucky 13. And you're a musical girl. Can you sing, Ryan? Uh, not at all, Ed. Okay. <laughs> yep. You wouldn't want to hear it, that's for sure. Well, in that case, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at the next two categories. One million dollars in play. We've got nicknames and diet. Nicknames. Nicknames, Ed. Definitely nicknames. We'll go nicknames. Well played. Nicknames. Let's have a look at the four answers. Rafael Nadal. Andy Murray. Roger Federer. Novak Djokovic. Okay. Good. Yeah. This is good. Do you know who these people are? We sure do. Yes. Who yep. are they? Uh, World class tennis players. Yep. Here's the question. Given his nickname, which tennis star might get confused with an arch enemy of Batman? Alright. Djokovic is known as the Joker. Joker's right. in Batman. Done. Let's, sure? go. Yeah, done. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Djokovic sure, is the Joker. Definitely. That's it. Look, right. look at his name. It even looks the same. That's it where does, it came actually. Slide yes, him down. Slide him down. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I never can. Oh, my wow. gosh. Wow. Oh, hey. <laughs> get him in the Joker. Read it again, babe. Read it again. Okay. Um, given his nickname, which tennis star might get confused with the arch enemy of Batman? If Joker's you say it is, babe, Batman. I'm going to believe you. Oh, no. 35. Oh, oh, 35. Oh. Go on. You're going to get that get in there. It's amazing. Sorry, audience. 30 seconds. Apologies, apologies. Oh, careful, you clean yourself up there. Watch your head. I'm okay. We've got time. Right. We've got time. Get it in there. I can recover. You're right. 20 seconds. There you go. Get that in. 15. Have a think. Yep. Dropping yeah, it is the Joker. He's the only one with a legitimate nickname. He's the Joker. All right. Positive? 100% yeah. positive. Novak Djokovic is the Joker. The Joker's a nemesis of Batman. <laughs> Don't forget, in the first seven questions, you also have a quick change, which means at the end of the question, at this particular juncture in time, you can get another 30 seconds if you want to move anything across, if you want to change your answer. Do you want to use that yeah. quick change now? No. Joker makes the Joker. <laughs> Joker's going to be Batman. We're done. We're, We're, done. Done. Happy end. We're done. Yeah. Step forward. Stand in front of the cash. Oh, my God. All right. You better be right. For a million dollars on question two, here comes the drop. We're going to take a break. We've got six questions to go and a full house going here. This is fantastic. It's the million-dollar drop right after this.